Hope everyone is ready. Let's get started. Today we have a well-known face of British television screens and he is best known for his career as a news presenter with ITN. We are talking about none other than Trinidadian British newsreader and journalist Sir Trevor MacDonald. Born George MacDonald on the 16th of August 1939 in San Fernando, Trinidad and Tobago to Josephine and Lawson MacDonald. Interesting side note, his surname MacDonald is of the Dugla heritage, his mother being of African descent and his father being of Indian descent. He worked as a print and broadcast journalist in Trinidad during the 1960s and one of his first major assignments was for him to travel to London in 1962 to report on the talks at the Marlborough House which concluded in setting a date for Trinidad's independence. In 1969, McDonald was employed by BBC Radio as a producer, based in London but still broadcasting to the Caribbean. He went on to produce current affair programs for the BBC World Series in 1973 and would begin his long associated career with independent television news, first as a general reporter and then later on as a sports correspondent but ultimately focusing on international politics. One of his first major assignments was to travel to Northern Ireland where he covered the Northern Ireland convicts for more than a decade. In the 1980s, he spent some time with the ITN-produced Channel 4 News. Covering sports and politics, he would travel to Argentina, Australia and the West Indies before becoming diplomatic correspondent and presenter of Channel 4 News in 1986. During this time, he worked extensively in the United States reporting on the unfolding events at the United Nations during the Falklands War from New York and from Washington, as well as covering a number of presidential campaigns. Outside the United States, his coverage of the Philippine elections in 1985 won a BAFTA award for Channel 4 News. He would return to ITV in 1989 where he would anchor for every ITV news program. From the news at 1, the news at 5.40, the news at 6.30, to the flagship and award-winning news at 10. One of his most memorable moments, going back to Johannesburg to report on Nelson Mandela's release. He later told the Manchester Evening News that one of his most favourite moments in his career was meeting Nelson Mandela. McDonald was promoted in 1992 as a sole presenter of the news at 10. In November of that same year, just before the start of the first Gulf War, he did the first and still the only British television interview with former Iraq President Saddam Hussein. McDonald stayed with ITN when News at 10 was axed in 1999, moving to present the ITV Evening News. He became a household name and face, going on to be named Newscaster of the Year in 1993, 1997 and 1999 and regularly topped the poll's most authoritative and trustworthy news presenter. In 1999, Trevor MacDonald was knighted for his service to journalism. In the same year, Trevor MacDonald was awarded a BAFTA for his outstanding contributions to television, as well as the Royal Television Society Gold Medal. He would win this in the years 2003 and 2005. The news attempt was briefly relaunched, to which MacDonald returned as presenter. He presented ITV News at 10.30, followed when News at 10 was being axed for a second time. Mazzano presented his last ITV News bulletin on the 15th of December 2005. The veteran news reporter stepped down from his role as anchor after more than 30 years at ITN, but said he had no plans to retire completely from television. At the end of his final program, he signed off with the words, That brings an end to my association with the News at 10.30. Thank you for watching. On the 31st of October 2007, ITV announced that early in 2008, McDonald would come out of retirement and present the relaunched News at 10. However, this was only brief and it was announced on the 30th of October 2008. McDonald would step down from the News at 10 once the 2008 US presidential election was over. He has presented many documentaries for ITV1 after his career as a news presenter. This included the Secret Caribbean series. He has also contributed charitable work for the Princess Trust and the Nelson Mandela Foundation. As I mentioned at the start of the video, you can't think of ITV News at 10 without thinking of Trevor MacDonald, a great man who has experienced and seen a great deal during his career.
let me know your thoughts in the comments below and come back tomorrow for the next part in our series. Please subscribe to be in the know when the video drops and in the meantime you can check out one of our other videos.